aches and stiffness can sneak up on us from spending much of our day sitting with less than ideal posture, often without us even realizing. But I'm going to help fix this issue by showing you 5 stretches that can undo years of damage within less than 15 minutes a day. Make sure to stick around till the end because the last one is by far my favorite one to do. There's only one way to relieve tightness that comes from sitting at a desk all day or working labor intensive jobs, and that's by stretching daily. For the first stretch, let's address the irritating soreness that comes from these common activities. The cat cow, or cat camel, is a dynamic movement that helps to improve spinal flexibility and mobility. It's a gentle but effective stretch that targets the back, shoulders, and neck. The cat cow stretch involves alternating between arcing and rounding your back, which helps to relieve pressure on your lumbar spine. This can reduce stiffness and improve overall spinal mobility. By regularly practicing cat cow, you can also strengthen the muscles in your back that contribute to better posture. And as I mentioned before, it helps counteract the effect of sitting for long periods of time to help you avoid the dreaded rounded shoulders and hunched back. To perform the cat cow stretch, start on your hands and knees with your wrists directly under your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips. As you inhale, arch your back, lifting your head and tailbone towards the ceiling and letting your stomach push toward the ground to create a cow shape. Next, exhale and slowly round your spine towards the ceiling by engaging your abs. Tuck your chin to your chest to make the cat shape. Repeat this movement, sinking your breath with the motion. Aim for 10 to 15 repetitions. When you're doing this stretch, avoid exaggerating the arc or round of your back. Keep the movements gentle and controlled. Remember to inhale deeply as you arch into the cow position, and exhale completely as you round into the cat position. If you're not stretching every day, you're missing out on important benefits for both your workouts and your daily life. The butterfly stretch is excellent for opening up the hips and stretching the inner thighs, two areas that commonly become tight and can hinder your workouts or put you at risk of injuries. That's why hip mobility is especially beneficial for those who spend a lot of time sitting. By stretching the hip abductors and groin muscles, you'll improve your body's ability to bend over, sit properly, and reach your feet. You'll make it easier to put on socks and shoes every day, and improve your form on compound exercises like deadlifts. You'll also promote lower back relief. Sitting for extended periods of time can lead to lower back discomfort. By doing the butterfly stretch, you can alleviate some of this tension and improve your posture. Start by sitting on the floor with your legs extended. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to drop towards the floor. Hold your feet with your hands and gently press your knees towards the ground. Lean forward slightly to deepen the stretch, keeping your back straight. Hold for about 30 seconds to 1 minute, breathing deeply. To get the most out of the stretch, keep your spine straight as you lean forward, and don't force your knees towards the floor. This next stretch is one that I like doing first thing when I get out of bed. If you are tired of waking up in the morning and going about your day feeling achy from sleeping in the same position for hours, start your day with the supine twist. I do the supine twist as a gentle wake up stretch every day, and it makes starting my morning a little more comfortable. It's a rejuvenating stretch that targets the spine, shoulders, and hips. This stretch releases tension and improves spinal mobility, helping to increase your overall flexibility. You'll also feel your hips and shoulders opening up as you twist. Lie on your back with your arms out to the sides in a T position. Bend your knees and bring them towards your chest. Then, slowly lower your knee to one side, keeping your shoulders grounded. Turn your head to the opposite side for a deeper stretch. Hold for 30 seconds to around 1 minute, then repeat on the other side. During this stretch, keep both shoulders firmly on the ground. Your opposite shoulder is going to want to lift off the floor, but try your best to resist it from happening. You'll also want to avoid sudden, jerky movements when twisting. Instead, move slowly and mindfully into the stretch. If you're getting value from this video so far, be sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Whether you are walking, running, skiing, or cycling, tightness and soreness in your legs can quickly turn a fun activity into a chore. And if you're working out, uncomfortable tightness is a quick way to lose your motivation. The calf stretch is a great way to loosen up your legs and avoid this problem. And there are actually two ways to do this exercise, which I'll show you in a minute. Both options target the calf muscles, which can become tight due to exercise and long hours on your feet. Stretching these muscles can prevent injury and improve overall lower body flexibility. 
The calf stretch helps to increase mobility in the ankle joint, which is essential for activities like running, jumping, and walking. And since tight calf muscles can lead to injuries such as Achilles tendonitis, regularly doing the calf stretch is a smart choice. To do the calf stretch, start by standing and facing a wall, with one foot in front of the other. Put your hands on the wall, keeping your back and legs straight, and bend your front knee. Lead forwards while keeping both heels on the ground so that you feel the stretch in your back leg. Hold for 30 seconds to 1 minute, then switch legs. Don't bounce during the stretch, as it can lead to injury. Instead, hold a static stretch for the best result, and make sure you keep the heel of your back foot on the ground to get a proper stretch. You could also do an elevated calf stretch, which increases the intensity and allows for a deeper stretch. Both variations help improve the range of motion in the ankle joint, but this one's a good way to switch up your routine. Find a step or elevated surface. Place the ball of one foot on the step and slowly lower your heel below the level of the step to feel the stretch. Hold for 30 seconds to 1 minute, then switch legs. You're probably wondering how many times a week you should be doing the stretches. I'll be showing you a routine you can use, but first I need to show you why I love this next exercise so much. You're probably wondering, what kind of weird looking stretch was that on the cover of the video? But I'm telling you, once you start doing it, you'll never want to stop. Child's Pose is a calming and restorative stretch that targets your back, hips, and thighs. It's often used as a resting position in yoga classes, but offers significant benefits when practiced regularly. I like to do the child's pose after my back and leg workouts, when exercises like squats and deadlifts compress the spine. Child's pose gently stretches the muscles of the back, helping to relieve tension and promote relaxation. It's also a fantastic hip opener. The position of the legs in child's pose allows for a gentle opening of the hips, which can become tight from sitting for long periods of time or doing intense exercises like squats and lunges. This stretch also feels great after a long day of standing or sitting, giving your back a rest, decompressing your spine, and even letting you stretch out your lats and chest as you stretch your arms out in front of you. To do the child's pose, start on your hands and knees on a mat. Then, lower your hips back towards your heels, keeping your arms extended out in front of you. Rest your forehead on the floor and relax your chest toward the ground. Hold this position for around 30 seconds to 1 minute, breathing in deeply. Make sure you relax your shoulders as you stretch. Think about them melting towards the floor. Avoid tensing or shrugging. If you feel discomfort in your knees during the stretch, you may need to widen your stance slightly to find a more comfortable position. So how often should you do these stretching exercises? The cat-cow, butterfly stretch, and child's pose are great things to incorporate into your start or end of day routine to promote flexibility and relaxation. Meanwhile, the supine twist and calf stretches, either on the ground or elevated, can be done at the beginning of a workout to prepare your muscles or at the end of one to avoid tightness as you recover. With that being said, I recommend doing these 5 stretches daily. Aim for 2-3 sets of each stretch, holding for 30 seconds to 1 minute per set. Remember to breathe deeply and listen to your body. If a stretch feels too intense, ease off slightly. Just like strength training, stretching is a marathon, not a sprint. When you start weightlifting, you expect to be jacked in a couple weeks, but it doesn't quite work like that. Aim for long-term results, not short-term gains. Building a habit of doing these 5 stretches, you'll not only benefit your physical health, but also provide mental relaxation and stress relief. So, enjoy the effects of incorporating them into your overall fitness plan.